हेलो फ्रेंड्स वेलकम बैक टू ई कॉमर्स प्रोजेक्ट इन लारावेल टेन लास्ट वीडियो वी डिस्कस हाउ टू मेक अ डिटेल पेज सो डू यू वांट टू मेक डिटेल पेज सो यू जस्ट क्लिक हियर एंड यू कैन गो इनसाइड एंड यू कैन मेक इट डिटेल पेज मींस वी हैव डिड इन लास्ट वीडियो जस्ट क्लिक सो यू कैन सी वॉट प्रोडक्ट यू बाय सो इन दिस वीडियो वी कैन कंटिन्यू एज अ लाइक अ फिल्टर सर्च फिल्टर सो बट डू यू वॉन्ट टू सर्च द नेम्स डू यू वॉन्ट टू सेज अ कंपनी नेम कंट्री एड्रेस सिटी स्टेट पोस्ट कोड फोन ईमेल्स वॉट एवर डू यू वॉन्ट टू सर्च लाइक अ क्रिएटेड डेट वाइज लाइक दिस डेट टू दिस डेट वॉट इज द टोटल ऑर्डर्स वी इन टू सर्च सो वी कैन डू इट इन साइड अ फिल्टर वाइज सो वी इन टू वर्क एज अ फिल्टर सो वी कैन स्टार्ट द फिल्टर वर्क बिफोर यू आर न्यू इन दिस चैनल अदर इन दिस सीरीज सो प्लीज सब्सक्राइब एंड प्लीज प्रेस दि बेल आइकॉन सो वॉट एवर कॉन्टेंट वी आर अपलोडिंग सो ऑलवेज गेट द नोटिफिकेशन एंड यू कैन स्टार्ट इमिडिएटली न्यू थिंग लर्निंग एंड ऑल्सो डू यू वॉन्ट टू बाई एन स्क्रिप्ट जस्ट गो टू एर सोल्यूशन कोड डॉट कॉम एंड यू कैन बाई इट हियर एंड ऑल्सो डू यू वॉन्ट टू वर्क एज अ फ्री लांसर वर्क जस्ट कॉन्टैक्ट टेलीग्राम वाट्सअप अदर स्काइप बट वी ऑलवेज प्रिफर अ स्काइप ओके सो लेट स्टार्ट नाउ सो फर्स्ट वी नीड टू क्रिएट हियर फॉर्म सो जस्ट गो टू रिसोर्सेस व्यूज इन साइड ऑर्डर ऑर्डर इन साइड अ लिस्ट डॉट ब्लेड डॉट पी एच पी यू कैन सीट लेट्स मिनिमाइज आफ्टर हियर देर इज अ मैसेज सो जस्ट कॉपी ऑल थिंग लाइक हियर सिंपल वे जस्ट कॉपी एंड यू कैन पुट इट हियर ओके वंस यू कैन कॉपी सो इज अ डुप्लीकेट कोड Now you need to remove like a tables. So just you can remove the tables, and here you can change like a order search. Okay, everything is good now. Let's go back again, refresh the page, so we can check. Here is a found like order search. It is found it's very well, no any issue. Now here we need to create a function. Means not a function. We need to create like a HTML code for the filter. So first we need to make here form method is equal to get. Okay, and you can close here form like down. Let's go back again, and we can check an issue. So you can see no any issue. Let's go back here. Here we need to create a one rows. So div class row R O W because we are using the bootstrap. Here also we can create like a div class. Call MD two or MD three. Whatever do you want to like, you can do it. Here we can create like a form group. So class form group. Inside we can do it like a label. Label inside we can provide like a ID. Let's make first ID. So we can ID and here we can do it like a input box. Like a text and name is equal to ID and class is equal to form controls. Is a bootstrap class. Okay, and here we can do it. Value is equal to blank. So let's go back again. We can refresh the page so we can check it is working, not working. So just go back again, refresh the page. So you can see it, ID found means form working very well. Here there is a like P zero means is a padding zero. So just remove it and just go back again, refresh the page. So you can see it now is a proper space. We have no issue. Same thing you can copy paste for the two, so you can do it new one, new one, new one. Like a name here you can put. Here also you can provide name. Like here is the first name, last name two there. So just you can use like two first name, last name because here is the two column there. This reason first name, <coughs> first name. Here also you can do it last name. So you can change here like a last name. Okay, and the next one we can do it like emails. So just you can change emails. Let's go back again, refresh the page. So you can see it like ID. ID we can make it one because ID always found like a very small these reasons. Emails you can see it here. Okay, it's so like first name, last name, emails. Next one you can do it like a city, state, country. Whatever do you want to like, you can put it here. Let's make it like country. So here also you can change country. And after we can do it like city. So also you can state. Just you can change it like state. Let's make it last one is a city. 
so here also you can put it ct okay let's go back again refresh the page so you can see it like a very big form also here down let's make it two so look like a professional here showing i don't want to make like one like a looking is not good so just make it back again after we can do it like a start date means a to date to from date from two dates so here you can make from date just you can change like from date here you can make like text to dates and here you can make style padding 6px okay so look like a professional suite this reason and here you can change like a two dates and after you can change here from two okay let's save these files just go back again replace the page so you can see it like a date picker like here you can search so you see now we need to put like a one field search button here so you click on so it's showing the data and also we need to put here reset button so just go up and you can copy this row and put here and after you can create one column d like a 12 and inside you can put like a two buttons search and reset so buttons class call sorry btn btn primary and here you can put like search and another button do you want to create like a, a link is a reset and here you can change like a href whatever path here there this path you can provide like a url path means this is the url okay let's save these files and just go back and check refresh the page so you can see reset you click so refresh you click on the search so what all parameter you can see it found suppose i can fill like a one here i can will taste taste and i just click on the search so you can see it here is a there inside a url so whatever parameter value here there we also need to show inside in id okay means i already click on the reset this reason suppose here you can see it like a one showing here so this is the value also I need to put here because this is the get method, get method inside there. So simple go back again and we need to write one script here like a simple, like you can do it request get id. You can put it like this get, like this. Let's go back again. We can check it's working, not working. So you can see one. So I can put reset. So error not generated. So don't worry. So I can put one. So you can see it already one there because of we ever use request get. Same thing you can short out every place. And after you can change the name. It's very simple. Suppose some place I forget, so you can do it your way, okay? Because you know how to do. Okay, two dates, from date to from date, city to city. State, state, country, C O U N T R Y. I know I have made a spelling mistake inside database, but I don't want to change now. You can take care. Okay, first name, last name. So it is done now. Let's go back again. Refresh the page. Here also you can add like some filter more, phone numbers, postcode. You can do it, but we can make it last one. So let's sort out first like a search filter. Suppose I can search eight. So only need to show this record. Also, I need to make like total. So total, how we can do it? Simple, you can go up and here you can make like a bracket. Like here you can type like totals. Get records. Total because of we are using the pagination this reasons. Okay. So get record where you found. So this is the record for this value and we have used like a pagination in laravel so automatically you can use like a totals let's save these files just refresh the page so you can see total three records showing here okay so it's working very well now we need to put like a id device so whatever data we are getting so this function we need to work inside a models models inside you can go to orders models and here you are uh, giving the data like returns let me go to http controller inside you can go to admin inside you can see it like a order mo controllers here you can see it here sorry here you see get record inside a orders model just go here and here we need to write our scripting so simple you can put it like this very simple way this is the already returns and here we need to write our coding part 
as a if request so also you can use here request use request okay don't forget to add because we need to get directly data here is request is not empty get id suppose id is available inside get method so we need to go here and we need to put here is a one where condition like you can put this whatever you are receiving here just one minute after you can understand better and here you can change the id okay so one condition is done let's go back again refresh the page just click on the search filter so you can see only one record showing also you can find out only one so it means this condition done now suppose i can search here test so also test test you can search it let's go to orders models like where is the orders means orders model inside order table so here is the first name last name also we need to make same like query same condition but we need to use here like query so just copy paste and here you can change like a first name first name first name and also you can change here like and here you can use like percentage signs because of we need to use like a first time means a first side and last side we need to search as a whatever words matching so you can use it like a percentage sign let's go back again refresh the page and you can filter so all is the testing data this reason showing same records so i can't give you the, what is the reason is is not working but it's working okay because of same data here here you can change like a last name and also you can change every place just copy paste and you can put it everywhere last name done next one we can do it like a email so email you can use it directly emails here you can put email emails next one is a country so here okay here don't put country because here is a spelling mistake i made so whatever database column name there th this one we need so country c o u n t r t y i did because i made a spelling mistake this is the reason r i removed okay so let's go back again state so state already there so simple you just change here after you can change it like city also you can do it city okay let's go back again now from date to date so from date to dates we don't need like query just you can make is equal to here also you can use is equal to here and here we don't need a percent like this percentage signs just remove okay and here you can make it like remove so from so starting so less than is equal to and sorry greater than is equal to and here is a less than is equal to two means less than and from and uh, from so means the greater than so here you can change like from date and here you can change like a uh, two dates simple and here you can change like created at just you can change also here and here you can change like where date only date need a filter so just you can change here like a where date so less than is equal to from date and here is a two dates okay so let's try is working not working let's go back again refresh the page and i just add this email address and i just press the search so it's working very well two email same so it's found same thing here you can see like a uh, order is a different different dates available suppose i can make three only three and i can search here so only one record found so it means it's working very well suppose i can put like a three um, three one and four so one two three i just need a like this order only one date to this date means from date to two dates as you can search only found two records you can see it this records and this record so it's working very well also you can see it found and also other also work but here is a test data so you can't understand it's working not working but it is working very well no issue okay so here we can add like phone number also and postcode also you can add here like a filter so look like a uh, everything done this is the reason also you can add a company name also filters okay so first we can short out like a phone so here you can change phone and also you can change your phone last one you can do it like a zip code otherwise postcode whatever you see it let's see postcode 
just go up and you can copy and paste so we can do it very quick this is the reasons okay now here you also you can change post code let's go back again refresh the page so you can see it last one also remaining like company name so let's put an id name after we can company name means id after we can put like company name so our looking like a goods here you can change okay company names let's go back again refresh the page so you can see it now look like professional okay so this is the filter also we need to use inside the uh, models means we need to make a query so simple you can put it here whatever place do you want to like you can do it it's not dependency like a step by step whatever place do you want to like you can do it this is the database column name now we can do it like a phone so i can put it here whatever place do you want to like you can do it and last one is the remaining is a post code just change and put here okay let's go back again reset and uh, we can add like every place test there so, but we can try it's working not working test so we have made a spelling mistake this reason test so it's working now post code also test so we can try working also company is a test we can try so also can working so we ever not found any issue it is working very well so in this video i will cover how to make a search filter inside a order list also you can use it as a placeholder so look like a main more professional like this placeholder id so it's going to more professional you can see it here like a seat id here you can use like company name so also you can do it like this i just told you because of i will share my experience this is the reasons okay so let's see look like a goods you see like is a blank blank showing so you can change so looking like a good this is the reasons otherwise no any reasons let's sort out like take one minutes more so this is the copy paste copy paste years here you can change and also you can change here just change one by one it's not taking few seconds not taking much time but look like a good this is the reasons otherwise no any reasons okay here also country and state also possible drop down wise but i did like a text field is also we can work as a id wise so also possible okay let's go back again refresh the page now you can see it now you can't see like a blank suppose here you're adding data so you can find out this data so don't worry it's working very well okay so i hope you are clear about search filter so do you have any question so please comment out and do you want to like this video so please like and do you want to see like this video more so please subscribe our channel error solution and next video we can work as a status like a pending cancel completed and in progress like this four status we can create and i can show you how we can work as a ajax wise and how we can send an email using the status wise okay so i hope you are clear and thank you for watching error solutions